Hi everyone. Immigration attorneys and many non-immigrants here in the U.S. have a big reason to celebrate. Yesterday, on April 27th, USCIS rescinded a 2017 Trump-era policy memo that prohibited USCIS officers from deferring to prior petition approvals, even where there was no material change in the facts of the case. That rescission led to a huge increase in RFEs and processing times over the last three years, even on petitions where there were multiple approvals in the past and the facts virtually remained the same. Now, the agency has reinstated the long-standing prior deference rule. For employment-based immigration cases, this is huge. The policy now again allows USCIS officers to give prior deference to petition approvals when the facts remain the same. So this is so long as the petitioner information and the terms of the beneficiary's employment, like worksite location and job duties, doesn't have any changes. One important factor to note on this is that USCIS will only defer to its own agency's decisions. So for example, USCIS will only give consideration to an approval for a Canadian who obtained L1 or TN status at the border with Customs and Border Protection officers, or USCIS will only give consideration to a UK national, for example, who obtained an L1 visa at the consulate in London. The prior deference rule also won't apply if there's a material change um, or a material error in the previous approval. Still, this is great news for us. Um, this policy change follows President Biden's executive order to restore faith in America's legal immigration system and to find efficiencies and fair ways to adjudicate cases going forward. We're hopeful this will decrease the RFE trends and processing times, but the way this actually plays out with USCIS officers remains to be seen. Still, we're keeping our fingers crossed.